Hello everyone, myself Ms. Dipanjali Devi, Assistant Professor of Department of Botany, Durham College, Tejpur. Today I am going to discuss about some general features of fungi, which comes under the unit 4, Fungi and Lichens of Paper, Plant and Microbial Diversity, which is beneficial for both major and minor students of first semester. Moving to the first slide, the first thing that strikes our mind is what are this fungi actually. Fungi term evolved from a Latin word named fungus which means mushroom. Fungi are cosmopolitan in nature means they occur everywhere in soil, water, air etc. Moving on to their features, first thing is that fungi are eukaryotic in nature means they have true nucleus and they are thus different from prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are what? Prokaryotes are those organisms which does not possess a nucleus. Second most important thing is that they are achlorophyllous in nature means they do not bear chlorophyll. And those organisms which does not have their chlorophyll can't prepare their own food. Thus the third characteristic is that they are heterotrophs. In, in heterotrophs also fungi are characterized or grouped under saprophytic, parasitic, symbiotic and hyperparasitic. What is saprophytic? Saprophyte or sap saprophytes or saprophytic mode of nutrition is those type of nutrition in which one organism is dependent on dead and decayed organism. Parasitic means those organisms or those fungi which are dependent on living host for their nutrition. Symbiotic means fungi in association with another organism. For example, in case of lichen which is a association between algae and fungi and second is the mycorrhiza which is an association between fungi and the roots of the higher plant. And fourth one is hyperparasitic hyperparasitic means we already know fungi some of the fungi are parasitic in nature and those fungi if parasitized by another fungi or other organism then that is known as hyperparasitic fourth characteristic is that they have spores which we can see in their vegetative structure there is a presence of conidium aplanospores etc while if we look into their sexual uh, spores, there is a presence of zygospores in case of zygomycetes, ascospores in case of ascomycetes, etc. And fifth characteristic is that their cell wall is made up of chitin. And one main exception is that one group of fungi named oomycetes have their cell wall made up of fungal cellulose. The study of fungi is known as what? Mycology. And a great scientist named Michele is regarded as the founder of mycology. Moving on to their vegetative structure, fungi is made up of hyphae and a complex structure named mycelium. What is hyphae? Hyphae is nothing but a structure which is formed after, a, after the germ pore evolves. So what is germ pore? If a fungal spore germinate, they will form a structure called germ pore and if the conditions are favorable, then this germ pore will evolve and form hyphae. Hyphae is thus responsible for absorbing nutrients. So basically fungi have absorptive mode of ab absorptive mode of uh, absorbing nutrients. Hyphae are of two types, septate hyphae and aseptate hyphae. And what is mycelium? Mycelium is nothing but the interwoven of many hyphae. This will be clear in our next picture. So in this picture, in figure A, here we can see that in septate hyphae, many cells are there and these cells are uh, demarcated or are distinguished by a cross border which is known as septum and this is a characteristic of septate hyphae while in figure B there is a no presence of septa 
and in figure A we can see that each of the cell have their own nucleus and their own cytoplasm while in figure B there is a presence of numerous nuclei and a certain pool or a single pool of a cytoplasm so this septate hyphae is a characteristic of higher groups of fungi while a septate hyphae is a characteristic of lower groups of fungi for example in phycomycetes and a septate hyphae is a characteristic in zygomycetes ascomycetes deuteromycetes etc and if we look into the third picture there is a formation of hostoria like structure hostoria is nothing but a peg like structure a peg like appendages which is responsible for absorbing nutrients from the host plant what they do is they just adheres into the surface of the host plant or host organism and obtain nutrients from it in this slide here we can see that in the right side there are two figures first one is nothing but the mushroom which is a uh, which is basically a fungi and uh, this is made up of uh, both hyphae and a uh, interwoven of hyphae called mycelium while in second picture we can see that these are leaf litters and there is a formation of white mesh like structure this mesh like structure is nothing but fungal hyphae or mycelium now the last thing is that how is it different from algae the word algae means seaweed and the word fungi means sponge algae are grouped in the kingdom planty by the great scientist Whittaker in his five system classification and a group of algae called blue green algae or BGA is grouped under protista while fungi is grouped under kingdom fungi only algae are autotropic in nature while fungi are heterotropic in nature algae as they are autotropic so they do not need to be dependent on others thus they are not parasitic or or saprophytic while in case of fungi they are parasitic or sometimes symbiotic or saprophytic so in the last slide we can clearly see that there are two figures figure a and b and figure a is completely green that means it has there it has chlorophyll well figure b it does it is although it is colorful but it does not have a, their own chlorophyll so one which has their own chlorophyll are autotrophs and uh, algae are commonly found in the wet wet conditions such as in aquatic condition well fungi can also be found in the wet condition but they are but they can't prepare their own food and they are uh, in this figure they are grown in the leaf litter so that was all about the general features of fungi thank you